I'm Greg Keeley, Heavy Equipment Operator Engineer in Training here at Deep Creek Construction School, and I'm Certified Grade Checker. Being certified means that I can read an engineer's rule, set up a transit to level, and I can work the grade checking process. I'm going to show you in six steps the grade checking process. First, you need to identify your benchmark. In this example, we're going to identify the benchmark at this location, at this point. Second, identify points of interest. And in our example here, we're going to have three points of interest, point one, point two, and point three at this location. Third step is set up the transit. And our transit will be set up at this location, so I'll be able to take readings of all three points of interest. Number four, determine the height of instrument uh, from our benchmark. So I'll use an engineer's rule, and I'll measure from the benchmark to the height of my instrument, which will be the scope on the transit, and that reading is 5.25 feet. Next, I'll take the readings of my three points of interest. So I'll move my engineer's rule down to point one interest, up to my height of instrument, and that reading will give me 17.5 feet. And I'll move my, my uh, engineer's rule over to point two, and I'll take a reading of 2.2 feet, and I'll move the engineer's rule over to point three and take that reading up to the height of instrument, which gives me 8.1 feet. Um, after those three readings are done, I need to come back and verify that my transit is still level by rereading my height of instrument. And that reading again will give me 5.25 feet. And that just verifies that my transit is not moved and all my other readings will continue to be accurate. Uh, next, I want to calculate cut and fill, and my rule of thumb on cut and fill will be if the reading is greater than the height of instrument, uh, means I'll be filling, and if the reading is less than the height of instrument, means it'll be a cut. So if I come back and do the math and subtract my height of instrument from my reading, gives me 12.25. My reading is greater than the height of instrument, so that means at Point of interest number one is a fill. And doing the math here, uh, my reading is less than height of instrument, so that means this location will be a cut, and it will be cut by 3.5 feet coming off this mound. And doing the math on point three, I'll be subtracting the height of instrument from my reading, it's going to be 2.85 feet, and my reading is greater. So that, this location will be a fill by 2.85 feet. Uh, number six is I want to put that information of my readings on my stakes or communicate it by other means. And that is the great checking process. Thank you.